In 50 years, agriculture will have to feed an additional 2 to 3 billion people. Even today, many ecosystems are under considerable pressure. Establishing an agriculture that meets the demands of humankind while maintaining the integrity of resources is the challenge of the 21st century. This challenge concerns society as a whole, all of us. Implementing sustainable production practices on more than 500 million existing farms is part of this global task. Farms should operate such that environmental integrity, economic viability and social responsibility are achieved without harming future generations. As farmer, agronomist, development worker or other stakeholder in the agricultural sector, you most likely know these challenges from personal experience. These questions motivate our work. How can the sustainability of agricultural production on a farm be holistically evaluated? How can the collected and produced information be intelligibly presented and communicated? How to support farmers in developing and implementing sustainable strategies? That's what we have developed RISE for. RISE is an indicator-based method for holistically assessing the sustainability of production at farm level. The method is meant to contribute to optimizing sustainability through concrete, locally adapted measures. RISE rates ecological, economic and social aspects of farming and translates the results into an easily comprehensible sustainability polygon. RISE evolved from a research project of the School of Agricultural, Forest and Food Science triggered by a request to analyze the sustainability of a large cocoa farm in Brazil. Since then, the method has been improved continuously, based on scientific criteria and on experience gained in the field. The RISE consultancy is supported through a new software tool developed in close cooperation with experts from practical farming and science and intensively taking into account 10 years of user feedback. RISE is applied worldwide in the context of development projects, sourcing and individual farm consultancy, from smallholder subsistence farms to large industrial farms of many different types. During the next minutes, you will learn about the philosophy of the RISE method and about the possibilities of using RISE as an instrument of farm consultancy. Unser Ziel in der Entwicklung und Anwendung der RISE Methode ist es, einen Beitrag dazu zu leisten, dass Nachhaltigkeit in der Landwirtschaft messbar und greifbar wird. Warum braucht es das? Nachhaltig wirtschaften heißt, mit Weitblick und Umsicht zu wirtschaften. Weitblick heißt auch mal in längeren Zeiträumen denken, sogar Zeiträumen von Bäumen. Nachhaltigkeit war ursprünglich ja ein forstlicher Begriff. Oder sogar von Böden. Und umsichtig heißt den Bedürfnissen von Mensch, Tier, Pflanze, überhaupt auch der Umwelt Rechnung zu tragen. Das ist eine sehr komplexe und sehr schwierige Aufgabe, die die Bauern und Bäuerinnen da haben. Und mit dem RISE liefern wir ein Instrument, dass es Ihnen etwas leichter machen soll, Ihren Betrieb in Richtung Nachhaltigkeit zu entwickeln. The RICE analysis is made up of three steps. Data collection based on a farmer interview, data analysis and feedback discussion. The farmer interview serves to holistically capture the situation in agricultural production. It usually takes three to four hours per farm. Data can be directly entered into the RICE software by the trained RICE consultant. The most reliable and accurate available information should be used. No specific measurements are needed. Following the interview, the collected information is processed in the RISE software, which condenses results into a polygon displaying 10 indicators. Soil use, animal husbandry, nutrient flows, water use, energy and climate, biodiversity and plant protection, working conditions, quality of life, economic viability and farm management. The graphical visualization supports a rapid appraisal of the strength and weaknesses of agricultural production on the analyzed farm. For explaining and understanding the RISE results, data can be displayed at higher levels of detail. The RISE method does not automatically generate one-fits-all type recommendations. The RISE consultant has to command in-depth knowledge of the local culture and agriculture. The last and arguably most important element of the RISE method is the feedback discussion. The analysis results are presented and explained to the farmer. This is followed by a discussion of the plausibility and relevance of results from the farmer's point of view. Priorities for farm development as well as information gaps are jointly identified and documented. Where necessary, further analysis targets specific issues. 
the RISE consultant may provide contact details of experts or providers of sustainability enhancing technologies. Das ist heute überhaupt kein Nischenthema mehr, sondern im Gegenteil, man merkt in den letzten Jahren, dass Nachhaltigkeit immer mehr ein Thema wird in der Wirtschaft und eine Rolle spielt auch für den Wettbewerb. Dazu sind in RISE Fragen und Berechnungen enthalten, die von Themen mit ja, A wie Arbeitssicherheit, nicht ganz bis Z, aber immerhin bis zu W wie Wirtschaftlichkeit, alle Bereiche der Wirtschaft, des Sozialen und der Umwelt abdecken, die für die Nachhaltigkeit des Betriebs wichtig sind. Es geht nicht darum, auch noch nach dem letzten Problem zu suchen und Dinge, die schlecht sind, sondern im Gegenteil zu schauen, was bringe ich heute für Leistungen in diesen verschiedenen Bereichen, wo kann ich mich noch verbessern. The target group of RISE includes extension agents, buyers or field staff and projects targeting regional and agricultural development. The use of RISE in Bolivia is a current example of an application in the field of development and cooperation. Local consultants trained in using RISE assessed more than 200 farms in three regions of the country. The visited farmer families not only provided information, they received a comprehensive farm analysis and individual feedback in return. Over the next years about 10,000 families shall benefit from measures conducted in the frame of this program. In Switzerland, RISE is currently used in a pilot project of the Research Institute of Organic Agriculture and the Bio-Swiss Association. In the northwest of Switzerland, organic farmers are now offered an intensive, individual form of agricultural extension. Bauern und Bäuerinnen können sich dort aus verschiedenen Angeboten etwas aussuchen, wo sie dann eine mehrtägige Betriebsbegleitung erhalten. Und eine der Optionen, die sie wählen können, ist eben eine Reisanalyse. Ein ganz anderes Beispiel haben wir in Mexiko, wo wir seit drei Jahren mit Milchproduzenten zusammenarbeiten. Da sind Betriebe dabei, die haben bis zu 7000 Milchkühe auf einem Betrieb. Wirtschaftlich sehr, sehr leistungsfähig. Aber die RISE-Analyse hat dann gezeigt, dass sie im Umweltbereich massive Probleme haben. Zum Beispiel verbrauchten diese Betriebe extrem viel Energie für die Stallkühlung. Zum anderen fallen dort natürlich riesige Mengen an Mist und Gülle an. Die haben sie einfach offen im Gelände gelagert. Das bedeutet große Stickstoffverluste. Und das ist weder für den Betrieb noch für die Umwelt günstig. Based on the results of the rice analysis and thanks to governmental support, many farm managers decided to construct large biogas digesters. These farms can now cover up to 50% of the electricity demand from on-farm sources while reducing their negative environmental impact. Die rice methode ist über die Jahre in mehr als 1000 Landwirtschaftsbetrieben angewendet worden, in bald 30 Ländern auf der ganzen Welt. Use of the RISE software and access to the RISE database are subject to license agreements. RISE consultants are trained in practice-oriented courses in Switzerland and other countries. On request, specific aspects of sustainable agriculture can be treated as well. In the framework of research and development mandates, the School of Agricultural, Forest and Food Science conducts RISE studies at regional level. The experiences we have made since the year 2000 suggest that applying the RISE method can help foster more sustainable agriculture. On individual farms, RISE supports stakeholders in critically appraising and, where necessary, improving their actions. Thus, stakeholders can contribute their part to enhancing the sustainability of global agriculture as a whole and hence to tackling one of the big challenges of the 21st century. For further information, check rise.hafl.bfh.ch. There you can also find our contact details.